it is friday february 16th around 5 p.m eastern time also market time let's take a look at the es guys so what happened today well it happened what i said was going to happen we're gonna get a little sell-off right but let's see how that worked out because i said also we're gonna get a chop fest which we did as well so let's check it out so this is what happened right we closed strong yesterday right we closed strong on the day and then we consolidated in the aftermarket session then europe took the price up and then boom right in the pre-market boom we sell off we bounce back up at the open hard sell off right this looked like we're gonna sell off super hard and then we even went through the neutralized zone and then we just got saved in this area right here which is uh 5000 basically where we're at right now 5015 right so at that point we get bought back up we got pretty much to the to the top of the previous day, right? The top of the range of the previous day, but we never made. Well, we almost made it here, and then sold off, right? And then bounced again. This is pretty much what I said about the zero DTEs, right? People are like slamming them at the open, the puts on puts, right? Or people are taking, uh, they're they're cashing in their calls. It's it's both, right? And then once they cover those. Uh, the market maker has to buy back the shares, so they basically are and people are going hard on the on the calls, right? And then they're selling them here, and then just doing whatever. And then at the end of the day, everybody's covering their calls, and maybe some people are going into puts, right? They're shorting off this area, which is pretty dangerous to do because, like, at this point, like the bulls look like they won the day, but now it looks like they lost the day, right? Because of this one from uh, from 2 p.m pretty much the end of the day it was just a hard sell off right and now we're back at the area where we bounced in the middle of the day but this is all just dte action and just like uh calls and puts being sold and and co uh, covered or or put into new positions so the market maker has to do all this so that's why it's pretty i was said it was going to be a chop fest which this is like we did have pretty big moves but it's choppy in the end because it did, we didn't do anything. The moves didn't do anything. We're back at where we started at the beginning of the day from the first bounce. So now is this going to bounce back or are we going to sell off? Well, I would put my money that we're actually going to sell off. But, you know, we are still bullish, right, on the daily, right? So if we look at the daily, we're still bullish. I don't see a reason to be worried, but we are looking like we're making that double top. So this might be the beginning of the end now, right? Because we formed the top, we sold off hard, we pushed back up to that top. Now, of course, some people are going to be holding bags there and selling off, right? But right now, this looks like maybe it's going to be the backside, right? Something like what happened here, right? You can see that. And that also got bought back up. This came back. This actually was a breakout, right? So it's something like this, pretty much, what I'm saying. It's just not in that... It's not that big of a range. So it's only short term. And yeah, this looks like it's going to sell off. So if my if I'm putting my my if I'm betting on this, I'm gonna bet that it's gonna sell off. But the fact that it's here right now, I'm expecting a little push before the sell off, right? And if there's a push and it doesn't sell off, then just go along. And that's pretty much the way I'm looking at it right now. So I hope you guys had a good week and you learned a lot because there's a lot to learn here. Yeah, have a good weekend and I'll see you guys on Monday.